What's up creators, it's your boy, Mad Mike. On today's episode, I'm gonna give you a tour of my 1985 Honda CMX Rebel 250cc. I'm gonna be selling it today, so I'm gonna give you kind of just a look at what I did to the bike. It was completely stock from 85 when I bought it, and I did a bunch of customizations, so let's go and check it out. You. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Ha, daddy be you. This world is just a canvas to our imagination. Turn a figment of your mind into creation. So here it is, guys. 1985 Honda Rebel CMX 250C. It's, I'm not sure how many horsepower. I think it's 16cc. I've done a bunch of custom mods to it. You can probably tell right off the bat. So let's kind of show you what I did here. First off, the biggest change was the Sportster Harley gas tank I put on there with the drag series Petcock. It's on the right hand side. You lose fuel capacity, but it works great. And you know what? These things don't burn a lot of fuel anyways. So as long as you keep it topped up, you're good to go. So, <clears throat> so we got the Sportster gas tank with a gloss black gas cap on top there. Next up, we also did some Z-Bars. They're Bitwell Z-Bars. I think they're like a seven inch or a five inch rise. They're super comfortable. They're a nice bar, seven eighths bars. And I went with some retro barrel grip hand grips. They're kind of a clear rubber plastic. They're super comfortable. I think on the next bike I build, I'm gonna go with the same barrel grip type. It's a more kind of wider grip in your hand. It doesn't hurt your hands on long rides, I find, especially if your bike is vibrating a lot. Uh, I had some Harley Sportster mirrors on it that were down here, but they kind of were annoying to look at, so I went with the stock mirrors up top. The other thing we did was we upgraded the Speedo. So we got rid of the stock Speedo and we upgraded the speedometer, as well as a speedometer cable. And then while we're up front here, I also added this little fairing. This was a cheap fairing I got off eBay. I think it was like 30 bucks. It was actually pretty local to me uh, down in Pickering, Ontario. So that kind of gave it a really cool look. Kind of gives it that uh, Sons of Anarchy kind of a vibe. And yeah, then going down from there on the front forks, up on the top triple trees, this isn't paint, this is actually ABS plastic pipe that I cut. And when I pulled the shock out, I slid the ABS pipe on top. So that's a good way to color your shocks. And if you want to put ABS pipe on top of your shocks, you can also cut the pipe and then crimp it on without pulling your, your whole uh, shock out. But I wanted to put these nice fancy boots on, so I pulled my shocks off, slid these down, and they don't rattle. And then these boot covers kind of make the shocks look a little bit more retro, give some more, more like a girthy look to it because the suspension on these things is pretty tiny. So yeah, kind of went over the handlebars, grips, the fairing, the gas tank, the front forks, I was gonna do the rims black, but they're just chrome spoke right now. The chrome is just too nice, so I couldn't uh, I couldn't paint those. And I painted the lowers, painted the calipers black. All the paint on the engine is high heat paint. I believe it's Rust-Oleum high heat paint, and it works really well. Uh, it stinks for probably the first week when you ride it around, but once it burns off, you're good to go. You're even able to spray the headers, and coming back here, we cut the exhaust off. Sorry for that noise, it's a heat bug up in the tree somewhere. So yeah, cut the pipes. I'll give you guys a bit of a sound check in a second here. And I'll upload some photos of what the bike looked like stock when I first picked it up to kind of give you an idea of what I started with. Now that we're on the back end, I'll show you the sissy bar I created. So my buddy bought a uh, Suzuki Marauder, I believe it is, and he had this chrome sissy bar here that I had some twisted metal that I ended up bending up and kind of hooping and welding it together to kind of make this nice retro looking sissy bar. It's perfect for, you know, holding your helmet when you park or even if you're moving the bike around, it's a good point to grab to. Super, super solid. I think it turned out really cool and uh, definitely like the styling of it. I was gonna paint it black, but you know what? It's kind of got a cool rustic look to it with the chrome, so went ahead and left that. These are the stock Honda Rebel seats. 
It's kind of a two up style seat, which is still, I think, really cool looking. It kind of suits the bike. And just put a little tool bag on the back here because you don't want to go riding without your tools. Oh, and we upgraded all the lights to these little small marker lights. The stock ones are super big and bulky. So I went ahead and put on all four these little marker lights. They work great, they look great, and uh, they're nice and bright. What else did I do? Well, I think that might be kind of all the upgrades that I did to the bike. That's kind of a little walk around. What do you say we fire it up? Give you guys a bit of a sound check. So when I cut these pipes, I cut them right behind where the baffles are. So I was able to pull out all the baffles. So this thing is essentially straight piped. It's got a really cool tone to it. It's really loud, but it's not too annoying. So yeah, let's put the camera down and fire it up. There you have it. So let it warm up for a quick second, and then I'll give it a couple of revs. Let you guys hear what it sounds like. Dual exhaust. It's kind of not a really deep sounding bike. Obviously, it's got a you know small motor in it, 250 cc. Let's give it a couple of revs. Brother's over there looking at me like I'm crazy. What do you think, brother? Thumbs up? Thumbs up, buddy! He's working on his custom cafe racer. Maybe I'll show you guys that later on, too. But yeah, that's the bike, guys. One last rev. And it's gonna be sold tonight. Stoked. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video of my 1985 Honda CMX 250 Rebel. We'll catch you guys next time. I got the El Cuda, the El Camino Cuda build that I'm working on, as well as in the garage, I got the Ferrari kit car. So make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time. A ciao, ciao.